Hello and welcome to the Financial Room. I'm your host, Natasha Bridgemohan, President and CEO of the Bridge Group of Companies and Mortgage Broker with Mortgage Intelligence. Today, ladies and gentlemen, our topic is actually one that most of us don't want to face, mortgage penalties. Unfortunately, if you're a homeowner and you have a mortgage, you're probably at least once in your lifetime going to be penalized with paying mortgage penalties. So how do we avoid paying mortgage penalties or reducing mortgage penalty cost? Very simple. The first thing is you need to do something called prevention. Do some research, understand why you're buying the home, if you're buying it long term or short term. So if you are a retired person and you're, it's your final purchase and your intention is to buy and stay in this home for a very long time, or if it's your dream home and you're custom building it or it's your final biggest purchase and you have no intention of downsizing or upgrading, then purchasing a mortgage with a five-year term or longer is probably the best, best, best scenario for you. However, please keep, please keep note. If you are buying a home that is short-term versus long-term, such as a quick investment property or a property where you know you're only gonna be living there for a short term because you're expected to move or you're, it's gonna outgrow your family's uh, growth or responsibilities in terms of the size that you need, um, schooling for your children. If these are all external factors that will require you to not stay in this home less than five years, then do not sign a long-term mortgage. The only way that would be beneficial for you to sign a long-term mortgage if you are staying there long, it's shorter than your term, if you have something called the portability clause. Now the portability clause, you're gonna have to make sure that you understand the product and the feature of this clause and have a great mortgage broker or a lender educate you on what that really means. Now portability clause means you can transfer the existing mortgage to a new home. But if you are increasing your mortgage, you're gonna have to have something called a blended mortgage and be qualified for the new mortgage rates. If you are decreasing your mortgage, then you may be um, penalized with mortgage penalties if it's above and beyond your prepayment privileges. So these are things that you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen. Mortgage penalties are calculated on IRD, interest rate differential, or three months penalty, whichever one's higher. And that's written very, 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 very clear in most mortgage commitments. It's very, very important for you to understand that mortgage penalties with a different bank with a client that has the same mortgage as you and same mortgage interest rate may be ch paying cheaper or lower penalties. It all depends on the calculation. So ask your lender, ask your mortgage broker, how is the interest rate differential calculated? Is it calculated on the bond, the spread, or posted or discounted rate? So it's very, very important that you are understand that. So these are small, but very, very important things that you need to understand that can save you, not if hundreds, but thousands of dollars in penalty costs. Now, it's all about saving money for you, ladies and gentlemen. So take note of that. Make sure that you understand and you pre-prepare yourself for the purpose of the home and what your short-term or long-term goals are. Get the correct mortgage term, ladies and gentlemen, and understand how your interest rate differential penalty is calculated, and make sure you have that gold policy mortgage, such as portability clause. That's very, very important, and the highest prepayment privilege possible to offset any potential penalties that you may have to pay. Now, you can always visit me on any YouTube channel or at www.thebridgegroup.ca or call me at 1-866-553-7467. We're here for you to help guide you towards financial freedom and also to help teach you how to invest with confidence. Again, number here is 1-866-553-7467. Thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoyed today's topic because I did. Take care.